Short news. It looks more likely that some U.S. aid bills will be voted on in the U.S. Congress, this including Ukraine. Probably there will not be one bill, but several. There is no certainty that U.S. aid will be voted through in the Congress, or that the Senate will approve any bills passing the Congress. We do have some movement after more than one year since the last aid package for Ukraine was approved. The Chinese economy, while growing in numbers, but getting less in dollars. Some Chinese companies are down to having a margin of 0.5%, down from 2% some years ago, as reported by Reuters. It is expected that US Secretary of State Antony Blinken will discuss Chinese support of the Russian war in Ukraine. That includes drones, missile technology, machine tools, and intelligence data, but not direct military hardware. The new Ukrainian mobilization law is now being implemented. It should see an improvement in Ukrainian manpower and replacements for brigades over the coming months. The situation on the ground. Weather today. Svartov, cloudy, 26 degrees Celsius. Donetsk City, partly cloudy, 26 degrees Celsius. Kherson City, partly cloudy, 22 degrees Celsius. Ground conditions are assessed as good for offensive actions. The Ukrainian general staff reported 50 combat engagements in the last 24 hours. We had 43 Russian air strikes and 6 Ukrainian air strikes reported. Kupiansk to Svartov area. No Russian attacks reported since yesterday. Assessment. We have several Russian air strikes reported southeast of Kupiansk and northwest of Svartov. With indications that Russia has redeployed at least parts of one division to this area, it looks more likely that we can expect renewed fighting here in the near term. The situation is stable. Kremina area. The Ukrainian general staff reported repulsing six attacks in the area Terny to Serebryansky. Russian attacks reported at Terny, Torsk, Kryharivka, Serebryansky, and Biloharivka. We have positional fighting reported at Terny, Torsk, Kryharivka, Serebryansky, and Biloharivka. Assessment Ongoing Russian attacks around Terny and Biloharivka. No confirmed gain since yesterday. Russian sources claim gains in the Terny area, but they are not confirmed and not probable at this time. The situation is assessed as stable, but difficult for Ukrainian forces in the Treny area. This is because of how close their forces are to the Sherebets River, a likely Russian near-term goal. Sivask area The Ukrainian general staff reported repulsing 12 attacks in the area Verkno Kamiansky to Klishchivka. Russian attacks reported at Fryharivka, Serebryansky, Verkno Kamiansky, Vyimka, and Biloharivka. We have positional fighting reported at Fryharivka, Serebryansky, and Biloharivka. Assessment We have ongoing Russian pressure around the Sivisk salient, with no confirmed gain since yesterday. Ukraine retains a clear terrain advantage here, and so limited Russia gains are only possible over the coming weeks, but at this time not very likely. I assess the situation as stable. Bakhmat area. Russian attacks reported at Chasiv Yar, Ivanivsky, and Klishchivka. We have positional fighting reported at Noviai, Ivanivsky, Klishchivka, and Andreevka. We have three Russian artillery strikes reported. A Ukrainian attack was reported at Bodanivka. Assessment. We have ongoing Russian pressure direction Chasiv Yar, but no confirmed gain since yesterday. We have a Ukrainian counterattack at Bodanivka, no reported outcome from that attack. Likely it was a spoiling attack to offset Russian pressure. Russian gains seem to be slowing down, and considering the terrain, Russian forces closing in on Chasiv Yar is unlikely in the coming days. Russian forces will need to widen their base, and likely try to flank Chasiv Yar, and that is likely to take time. I assess it is very unlikely that Russian forces, based on current reporting, and previous fighting, can capture Chasivyar in the coming two weeks, and improbable to unlikely they can capture it in the coming four weeks. The situation remains fluid around Chasivyar, but stable in the Klishchivka area. Donetsk area. North of Donetsk city. The Ukrainian general staff reported repulsing nine attacks in the area Okeratine to Netilov. 
Russian attacks reported at Okeratine, Novo Kalinov, Berdichi, Semenivka, Netolov, and Novo Baknitivka. We have positional fighting reported at Novo Kalinov, Stepov, Okeratine, Berdichi, Semenivka, Umanska, Netolov, Pervomaysk, and Krasnoharivka. Ukrainian attacks reported at Pervomaysk and Berdichi. Assessment Russian attacks are more and more focusing north of Semenivka with heavy attacks and confirmed gains direction Okeratine. Those gains have worsened Ukrainian positions around Semenivka. Russia will likely still need to widen their base to be able to continue asserting heavy pressure. We have Ukrainian attacks reported with limited gains in the Berdichi area and the Pervomaysk area. Ukrainian attacks are likely spoiling attacks to disrupt Russian attempts to flank Semenivka. There is a possibility Ukraine could assert heavier pressure around Berdichi and so push Russian forces back. Considering Russian air strikes, it is not likely they can do that, but it is a possibility. Ukraine is holding the high ground in this area, which should make further Russian gains problematic and costly. The Ukrainian situation has become more problematic, and we can likely expect Russian attacks direction Okeratine and also direction Solovayov in the coming week. The situation is fluid and very difficult for Ukrainian forces. West of Donetsk City The Ukrainian general staff reported repulsing 14 attacks in the area Krasnoharivka to Novomykhailivka. Russian attacks reported at Krasnoharivka and Novomykhailivka. We have positional fighting reported at Hiorhivka, Novomykhailivka, and Pobeda. Assessment Ongoing Russian attacks, with confirmed limited Russian gains south of Novomykhailivka and at Krasnoharivka. Russia continues asserting very heavy pressure, but that is not converting into significant gains. The Ukrainian situation, considered reported Russian pressure, is likely very difficult. They continue to hold a coherent front, and Russian losses are likely significant to heavy. The situation is assessed as stabilized to fluid. Vromivka area. A Russian attack reported at Staromyorsky. No positional fighting reported since yesterday. Assessment. No changes. Some Russian attacks are ongoing. I continue to assess this as a Russian fixing operation. I do not expect any significant changes here in the coming week. The situation is assessed as stable. Orykiv area. A Russian attack reported at Robotine. We have positional fighting reported at Bilohiria, Robotine, and west of Verbov. Assessment. We have ongoing fighting. We have probably limited Russian gains in the Robotine area. I do not expect any major changes here in the coming week. The situation is assessed as stable. Kozatsky Kherson area. The Ukrainian general staff reported repulsing five attacks in the area of Krinky. A Russian attack reported at Krinky. Positional fighting reported at Krinky. Assessment. Russia continues to assert some pressure here, but no confirmed gains reported. We have reports of both Ukrainian gains and Russian gains, but they are not confirmed. I assess the situation as stable, but likely Ukrainian forces are under some pressure from attacks and air strikes in this area. Conclusions We have reports that Ukraine struck a Russian air base at Jankoy, with several explosions reported. I have no confirmed damage at this time. This reported by the Kiev Independent. They also reports the airbase are hosting several Russian attack helicopters, including KA-52. No major changes reported in where Russian forces are attacking. We have Russian gains north of Donetsk city, which has worsened the Ukrainian situation around Semenivka. We also have Ukrainian counterattacks in that area, and they have made some confirmed gains. This indicates that Ukraine can, at least momentarily, retain some initiative. The situation is very difficult. Russian gains directly towards Chasivya seem to be slowing down. Also here we have Ukrainian counterattacks reported. I think it is likely that we will see limited Russian gains directed towards Chasivya. Likely Russian forces will have to widen their base to be able to assert heavy enough pressure, so any Russian gains, if any, are now more likely in the Bodanivka and Ivanivsky area.
I expect overall heavy Russian pressure in the coming week. The situation north of Donetsk city is too fluid to make any assessment past the coming day to days. Except for that position, I do not expect any major changes. Russian limited gains remain probable to likely in the coming week. Ukrainian counterattacks now make limited Ukrainian gains possible over the coming week if they decide to counterattack. End of report.